Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for, sorry, I just wanted to make sure I was recording for March 2023. We're going to jump right in here, Capricorn, and we are going to see uh, what is going on for you at this time. You have this lullaby card in your current general energies uh, with the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Magician. So I kind of feel like some of you, number one, like I feel like you are waking up, but I feel like you've been feeling like a general lack of energy and it seems to me like you could actually be returning to to more energy but it's kind of interesting because with the knight of wands uh this is a good reading already <laughs> with the knight of wands i feel like there are things that you need to do to kind of like become more energetic you know it's like i feel that there are um you know, actions you could take, um, maybe like working out or going for walks and things like that. Even, you know, not to toot my own horn here, but in my personal life, I find that if I'm not walking, going for a walk every single day, since I sit down all day, basically, uh, then I definitely feel much more tired. And I feel for some of you, it's like you're trying to um, maybe uh, feel more awake so that you can get things done. I also get like a little bit of overthinking energy here for some reason where, again, sometimes I think, you know, it's like there's like, it just feels like there's a lot of energy rushing in for you. Makes sense. Your ruling planet Saturn is going into Pisces this month. And, you know, the thing about that, everybody's like been telling me how horrible it is that Saturn is going to Pisces. I'm like, okay, well, this happens every 30 years and horrible things happen all the time, but it doesn't matter where Saturn is, right? But number two, if we work with the energy, we get the reward. So, I would say, don't just sit there and cry about Saturn moving into Pisces. There are things we can do, number one. I think the challenge for you is rushing ideas, a lot of ideas. We have Neptune and Pisces as well, very dreamy. So for you, you might have like a lot of ideas, overthinking a lot of things that you wanna take action on. So sometimes I think we become overwhelmed when we have too many ideas, we don't know what to get started on, we're not sure what to do. So then we just don't do anything because it makes us feel tired, right? And I kind of get that for you here. You And you have the Six of Pentacles, which might be your solution. Six of Pentacles is kind of like a little contradictory to what I just said because Six of Pentacles says plant seeds towards your dreams, lullaby, right? Something about dreams popping up here. So it just says like try the smallest step that you can for each one of your ideas. Try something small, whatever grows, put more energy into that. What doesn't grow, get rid of it for now, right? That doesn't mean you can't revisit it later on in the future, but I kind of feel that need to get started, of course. Uh, you have the Knight of Wands here. And again, the Knight of Wands to the Sun to the Justice card. That would definitely be taking action. Again, justice is cause and effect. So I feel that for a lot of you that you have very strong desires at this time. I actually feel like this Knight of Wands is your energy in this reading, Capricorn. I feel like you have desires to do certain things in your life. You even have this Musician card, and I do feel... For some of you, you could be feeling like playing music or, or getting into some sort of hobby. And I feel like that would be a great outlet for you. I feel it would help in other areas of your life. Again, I feel like, like you know, I don't know, because, you know, I was stuck for like a good three and a half years of my life after a big business failure I had. I did basically nothing for three and a half years. And it's like, now I totally appreciate hobbies <laughs> because during that time I did nothing. And it's like, ne then... To, to break out of that, I started doing like things that I enjoy doing, like hobbies. And that's where I get a lot of my answers, right? To my problems in life, to not my problems in life. To, like I get good ideas as well for like business and things like that. When, And again, I think we can only get these ideas when we're in a flow state. And again, one of the easiest ways to get into a flow state is to go do something that you can do mindlessly, like a hobby. Most of us, when we're doing something we enjoy, we get out of our head and we just focus on that, right? So I feel like some of you Capricorn people, you need like some sort of outlet here. I don't care what it is. It could be like learning guitar. It could be, um, you know, fishing. It could be whatever you want to do. I don't care. Uh, you have the Eight of Swords here. So I do get this feeling of getting unstuck, mostly because you have the magician here. And I feel like something expanding with this magician. It's like your tools, you know, he has mastery over all the suits in the tarot. And it kind of says that he has, and how, how crazy is the bottom of your clarification deck, also the magician. But, you know, I feel for a lot of you that you've expanded your tool set, you know, in quotation marks. So and this could be anything. It could be like um, your talents, gifts, skills, and abilities. It could be things that you've learned on how to be more successful. Whatever it is, it's definitely been you know good for you. How crazy is this as well? It's like they both have like I don't know if this is a violin or a cello, but you know this is like a cello here. They're like the same color on these cards, which is pretty freaking crazy. Um, 
and very interesting. So some of you could definitely be like learning how to play music, but here we go. With the Knight of Wands, you have the Justice card again. Yes, you need to put more energy into things that you enjoy doing, right? So I definitely feel like this energy of needing to get out of your head with this reading, but I think this is gonna come through doing things that you enjoy. With the Eight of Swords, you have the King of Swords. There's something here about Law and Order. I feel like some of you could be seeing someone get their karma as well. Could be like a past person. So for some of you, uh, you know, that could be happening. You have like the Tower to the Justice card. I don't even think this is like a bad surprise, but I do feel you could be kind of seeing someone get their karma. I would also say that if you don't want to hear from a past person, I would block that person here, Capricorn. Uh, with the Magician, you have the Five of Cups, regrets, right? <laughs> and for some of you, whatever you're trying to create in your life, like if you're trying to create something new with the magician, uh, new business, new relationship, I feel like you need to turn around and see that you have a lot to be grateful for, number one. But number two, the Five of Cups always reminds me that, you know, it can represent losing your taste for something. And the solution to uh, the Five of Cups, by the way, is to be grateful for the things that you have. Once you are grateful for the things you have, magician, then you attract things very quickly. Guess what? In the area of the unexpected, you have this great in full card. What do you think that means? It means gratitude is going to be your best friend at this time. I feel like you will are kind of, they're just like so much that I feel you could be grateful for this month. So it seems to me like there's a lot of things happening where you're gonna be like happy that these things happened in your life. And that's really just what I see there. You have the four swords, the sun and the tower here. Uh, for some of you, I feel like you're, you've been going through this like healing period. All your past readings have had something about you know, healing from a past person. I feel like this person was fickle. Um, it just didn't take action. I feel like I always say the same thing to you. Uh, very back and forth energy. I feel like they're just confused, just a confused person in general. And I feel like they just don't put work into relationships. It's like just who they are. They're lazy, lazy lover, basically, right? So, and this seems like a lot of you have been going through this healing period with this person. And, um, you know, I, really don't know what else to say there <laughs> other than I feel like you're healing from it if that's for you. You have the sun. Again, I feel like there are so many things that you could be happy for. There are so many things that you could enjoy and that could bring like enlightenment and clarity into your life. But I definitely feel like you need to kind of like focus on those things. The reason I say that is because again, you have the uh, Knight of Wands with the Justice card twice. Knight of Wands, I think that people need to understand that the Knight of Wands is a card of moving towards your desires. It says that, you know, he just does things because he wants to do them. And I feel like a lot of you need to put more energy, justice, you know, justice is cause and effect. It's like you need to balance out the scales towards things that you enjoy. You have the tower. Again, a lot of people have in the tower lately. And even in these monthly readings already, a bunch of people have had the tower. Seems to me like there could be a lot of tower moments in the world. We've already seen several. There will be many more over the next few years. So, um, I don't know, you can stand there and be like, oh my God, I'm shocked, I'm so surprised. Um, but if you watch Mino Pontero, then you probably shouldn't be so surprised because I've been telling you this for like two years that, you know, over the next, um, I don't know, for the rest of our lives, probably there are gonna be a lot of tower moments. So, um, you know, don't be surprised. Uh, with the four swords, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Number one, again, I'm telling you right now, if this, if you have this past person fickle in and out, I'm telling you right now, I feel like this person's gonna try to come back. I would be very careful. I do, you know, I would just be careful. <laughs> I feel like they have not changed. I feel like they're the same. And so I'd be careful there. For the rest of you, I feel like you're taking control of your destiny with this card. And you also have this, Death to the Knight of Pentacles. You also have the Magician. These are all cards of like reinvention. So it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of you were taking control more of your life. The Wheel of Fortune is your destiny in the sense that it's like your personal vision for your life, where you see your life going, the things that you see yourself accomplishing and having and all that stuff. But we have to take control of the Wheel of Fortune uh, because the wheel is always spinning. You can be basically on the outside of the wheel where the wheel is just like spinning like crazy and you're just all over the place. Or you can be at the center of the wheel where it's like you see things coming both directions, good and bad, and you are in a position of control. So, you know, one way to do that is number one, your vibrations. There's a snake normally on the side of the Wheel of Fortune, which represents your vibrations. The other way is to not freak out when things happen, to realize that, you know, probably nothing in your life will happen to you that you cannot handle, right? It's like, I think of the worst things that have happened to me. And it's, 
I'm here. I am. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still. I'm still kicking it right on YouTube. So it's like you know what? It's like there. I truly believe that nothing. You know, there's nothing that can happen to us that's so bad that we can't handle it, right? And so I feel like that's where like the true power is, and that's like maybe what you're realizing, Capricorn. With the sun, you cannot make this stuff up. Six of Pentacles again. I mean, you literally have justice basically four times in your reading. Justice, justice, and then scales, scales. You know, Six of Pentacles is you know deciding where to put your energy. So I feel like you need to decide to put your energy into the right things. With the tower here, you have the queen of wands. Yeah, I would be careful of, of, of a person, like I said, returning from the past. Could be a Scorpio, could be a fire sign here as well. Uh, could be a Pisces or Libra is standing out to me, obviously. Uh, but again, if you have any of those people in your life, I would be careful of this person. I, I, like, I feel like they kind of... You know, there's a say, there's an old saying from the old country, right? F around and find out. I feel like this person F'd around and uh, they found out quick and now they're regretting it. So I would be careful of a past person with regrets, right? Uh, next, we're gonna look at, uh, oh, what you need to hear right now. You have this musician card. I can't really, I can't really show you this card here on YouTube, but you can see there it says musician on the bottom. So I feel for a lot of you that playing music or doing music, uh, would be a good idea for you at this time. Uh, I also feel like you're entering into a very abundant time. I feel like you could be g gaining more abundance in this row here through kind of, um, you know, working on things that you enjoy. We even have the Page of Cups here. Page of Cups normally has a fish in that cup and the fish kind of represents a dream. It represents something that he is maybe imagining and I always say that he needs to grab onto that fish. It's like an opportunity that he needs to nurture into existence. And we literally go to the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a card of planting seeds. Six of Pentacles, twice, is a card of planting seeds. Six of Pentacles says, invest in things and invest back into you. The Knight of Pentacles kind of says you're over-prepared. On a traditional Knight of Pentacles, he has oak leaves on his helmet. There's oak leaves on the horse as well, which represent knowledge and wisdom. It kind of suggests that you're over-prepared for something. What I will say, is that that card showing up in the area, the good stuff. So I kind of feel like you're making those steps to move forward. Uh, you have this death card here. Clearly there's some sort of important change. I do feel like saying important change, like literally those words are popping into my head. I do feel like sometimes people don't realize that like the death card, it's not meant to represent some sort of tiny little thing going on in your life, right? Death is like a big change, a major change. Tower can represent a major change as well. So I feel for some of you, you are undergoing some significant changes, but I feel like these changes are who you are. You know, I, I think these big changes, maybe the tower is you surprising people, right? Making decisions that other people can't believe you're making, but <laughs> you know, what I would say here is it's leading to your success or it's making you feel more abundant. So I definitely like to see that. I really feel like you're putting yourself first with the justice card. And that's exactly what I think you should be doing. Justice is cause and effect, and I really feel you're deciding, you know what, I'm only gonna put energy into things that put energy into me, and that's exactly what I would do. I feel like I say this to you all the time. It seems to be like a recurring message. I also feel with that musician card, again, it might not be music. It might just be, you know, something that you enjoy, something that you want to learn how to do or whatever. I don't care what it is. But I feel like for some of you, it's like you're learning how to do something or, you know, it could be a hobby, an interest, something like that. And by doing that, it's like providing the answers that you need to be successful. With the death card, you have the hangman. Yeah, I feel like you're done being stuck. Knight of Pentacles. Sometimes I think we, remember we were talking about this overthinking, having too many ideas. I feel like you're saying, you know what, even if I'm wrong, I have to start moving forward. I have to, you know, I have to go through this transformation. How crazy is, is it that there's this caterpillar on this hangman? This is a white sage tarot. By by the way. And so I feel there's like some sort of uh, transformation, but like a caterpillar, I always say is like caterpillar soup. You know, they turn into caterpillar soup before they become a butterfly. Here you go with the page cups, you have the magician. For those of you that want love, you could be attracting a Pisces into your life. You have the um, hangman, you have the moon here as well. If it's not a Pisces, I would say it's someone very intuitive. It could be a Scorpio as well, for sure. Um, but what I would say also is I feel like you are attracting things very, very quickly. But again, this attraction is gonna come through action. I keep telling people that I really feel we're in a time of action where we have to take more action on the things that we want. And someone always comes at me and it's like law of attraction. I'm always like, yeah, I'm a big fan. Like everybody knows, I love the law of attraction uh, to death, 
But I also think that we can't just, you know, F around and find out. As I just said earlier in the reading, we have to take action. We have to, like, move towards the things that we want. We can't just sit around and, like, th imagine things all day long, right? With the Justice card, you have the Three of Swords. It's kind of weird because, <laughs> you know, I get this feeling that you kind of feel bad for a person. I feel like you shouldn't feel bad for this person, Capricorn. It's like, I, I think it makes you a good person, right? That maybe if you have this past person in your life that you kind of, I, like, I don't, I think you're, you have the empathy for this person, right? You, maybe they're in a bad situation or whatever. I just get this story popping into my head, but it's like, they are their own worst enemy. I think that someone needs to hear that, Capricorn. I think that one of you, at least out there, needs to realize that it's like, you know what? Yeah, you're a good person, but... It's like this person screwed themselves. And I feel like I said this to you in your last reading as well. So someone clearly needs to hear that. For others, this could be a healing. And again, I think that going through a healing is a good idea, especially if you've been through a breakup or just like if you're bored and you want to like improve in life. I always tell people, get a hobby, go to the gym, go do things. It's like when we improve, that's where our life starts to get better, right? And also, be, I, I think there's nothing wrong with becoming a more interesting person. If you're learning an, in, in, an instrument, if you're uh, going to the gym or if you're doing some sort of hobby, you are becoming more interesting, which is just gonna attract more interesting people into your life. So, you know, I think that if you're doing those things, this would be really, really good for you. Uh, next, for the good stuff, you have this last quarter moon in Cancer. It says, take a breather. I feel like you're kind of getting a break here. It feels more like a mental break to me, which is very interesting. It's like mentally, I feel like things are kind of slowing down. I also feel that with the Knight of Pentacles, of course, that you're planting these seeds. It's like you don't know where you're going with the moon. But again, the moon is showing up in the area of the good stuff. So I feel like this is a positive moon period for you. Again, I always say I love the moon personally. I am a Pisces, so, you know, makes sense. But what I would say is that to me, the moon is not a bad card. Everybody reads it like a bad card. It's like, no, uh, the moon is a good card. It's like, it's part of life, number one. It's like, we all have to walk through darkness or we all have to do things where we don't know all the answers, right? I think part of the problem of today is school. I blame everything on school because I hated school when I was a kid. But what I would say is it's like there are things that we have to learn and we have to go through periods of darkness. But on the moon, the path goes all the way to some mountains and mountains represent achievements. So, you know, I feel like there are some achievements coming in for you, but again, it's showing up in the good stuff. So I feel like you're entering into a good period where maybe you can imagine things with the moon. The moon is very dreamy. The moon, I always frequently say as well, we have to bring the moon down to earth. We could have some ideas, some dreams, but we have to start planting seeds in that direction. I also feel like there's more fairness coming in for you, Capricorn. It's like the scales are balancing out, uh, especially financially. I actually feel that financially things could be turning around for you as well. But I feel like you're starting to make some moves with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're starting to work towards things that you want. And again, normally I don't like the Knight of Pentacles, but uh, in the area of the good stuff, it's like you're making progress towards the things uh, that you want. With the Knight of Pentacles, you have the moon, again. <laughs> so again, there's some sort of dream. There's something you need to manifest or that you need to ground in reality. It's like some sort of big dream, wish, or goal. And so I feel like you need to start like, you know, getting moving towards that Capricorn. It could be a Pisces coming in for you, obviously, as well. With the Six of Pentacles, you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands definitely says this is going to be an adventure. For those of you that have ideas for, you know, a side hustle, a business, um, even if you're retired, if you're working on something just fun, right? I feel like this is saying like, get going. It's gonna be an adventure, but it's gonna be a very fulfilling adventure as well. With the moon, you have the seven wands. Yeah, see, I feel like you're committing. It's like you're doubling down on something for, you know, because the moon is like some sort of dream. So seven of wands, a card of believing something very, very deeply. You know, I always say it's a card of persistence. So it says, don't give up on whatever you're working on and keep trying, right? But it's also a card of belief. It's a card of conviction. It says when you know that you know, but when you believe it right here between your two ears, when you believe that something is gonna be successful, then it will be successful. So, you know, that's what I feel there. Uh, let's see what's going on for you. We're gonna pull five main themes. Uh, you have this torch card that says spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding the moon twice in the good stuff. So you could be very like developing and understanding things on a deep level. And I am getting here that if you have this weird love situation right here in your life, I feel like it, it kind of like helped your spiritual development. Uh, next, you have this May card. There are these like monthly cards in this deck and you have the scales card. It says, keep your life in balance. I would say be like between now and May, I would say make sure that you're balancing things out. If you're working hard, make sure you're playing hard. If you're playing too hard, make sure you're working hard, <laughs> you know, and vice versa, right? I would make sure you have so much balance here. It's crazy, but I would make sure you're doing things in balance until May. 
Uh, you have this moon card. It says changes in your life. The whole and you have the moon tw like basically three times now. You have so many changes coming up here. It's crazy. So big changes. And again, the tower. I kind of feel like you could be shocking people with the changes you're making. Uh, you have this wind chimes card. It says peace and harmony. I, this is like what oh, this is like the only thing that you want. I think at this time, Capricorn. <laughs> I think you just want peace in your life. I feel like you just want things to be a little bit more predictable, kind of like even, not so up and down. So it's like you're doing things to create more peace. And uh, finally, you have this purse card. It says, pay attention to your finances. I would definitely keep an eye on your finances, but I do feel your finances are improving. I also feel like there are things, by the way, for those of you that have like a side hustle, a business, a side business, whatever, whatever it is you do, even in your career, it's like, I think there are things that you could be doing here. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles really tells me there's like things you could be doing that you're not doing that could improve your business or could like have a major, you know, that could really maybe double your income or something like that. It sounds crazy, but you know, it's like, I would be learning. I would be looking at those things. We're not talking about get rich quick schemes here. We're talking about like, I don't have any good examples for you, but it's like, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's like I like I don't have an email list for this channel, which is stupid, right? Because YouTube could take take my channel whenever whenever they want, right? So it's like it, it would be as if I were to build an email list, for example. It would be a great way to diversify, right? And it's like I feel like there are things you could do with here. You're gonna have to research. You're gonna have to learn how to do this. But you know, I feel like there are things you could do that wouldn't cost money, probably wouldn't take very much time, but could double your income or could add a little bit extra. That's like more than enough. And I feel like this is saying start looking for those things, because you will find them. So uh, there you go. I like this reading for you, Capricorn, really good. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. And definitely enjoy your March.